Hello? Anybody got a quarter? <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun with everyone. This includes you and me. Must fun for you. Must fun for me. Must fun for us. Must fun family. Must fun for you. Must fun for me. Must fun for us. Must fun family fun. I'm just trying to have fun, 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 fun with everyone. One, 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 one. This includes you and me, 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 Oh yeah, dude, what up? Chola, orange, what the f***? Here we are. What up, dude? Hi, guys. Dude. Welcome to Ufalandia. I love it here. We're here oofing out straight out of the dumpsters, as usual. Where are you guys coming from? Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Whatever something's doing. I know we just started, but whoever's playing the paper stuff. Oh. I was gonna put that in the. I was gonna put that inside of the, the. This thing and then, brrr, and it was gonna make me shake. So we just started off with you guys just shaking. Yeah. And like we're just teleporting into this. We could go like that. Oh, like, uh, if you give me that thing, uh, there's something inside of it. I'll go like this. Guys, ready? And we're gonna, brrr. What is in there? What is that? What is it for? Hmm? I don't know. I think they're magnets. Oh, that's what it is. But that's a good one, though. <laughs> P90X. I swear I can do this. P90X. All right, All right dude. Sick it. All right, dude. You guys ready? Let's do it. Thanks, dude, for having us. I'm going to turn it off, OK? Whoa. Oh, okay. What's up, Chola Orange? Welcome, Welcome to Ufalandia. What up, dude? Thank you for having us. Yeah. So what do we have here? Introduce yourselves. My name's Chris. My name's Greg. I'm Noah. And I'm Art. What do you play? I play the guitar. I play the bass. Drums. I play keyboards and I sing. And together you guys are... Chola Orange. Chola Orange. <laughs> Yeah, you, got, you guys are, you guys gotta speak up. You guys are like. Hey, check this out. Look at my ear. Have fun. Whoa. Okay. That's that's warming up. <laughs> if you guys didn't know, Chris's ear does this little popping sound every now and then. It keeps time for us. You can just hear it. Can I do this make, too. Can you make the sound happen? Do the sound. Get a close up on the sound. Right there. Cool. Sometimes it's kind of like. Sometimes it just goes, and we can yeah. keep time with it when we're playing. Music. No, we're gonna edit it. They're gonna make that. You guys, guys metronome? We just keep yes, doing it. Yes, exactly. See metronome. You know. <laughs> Go roll with the punch. <laughs> right, so like. exactly. This one I could do faster. Like it. That was on on demand. Yeah, on, that was on, on demand. On, <laughs> on, on demand ear pops. <laughs> <laughs> Besides doing ear pops, well, how would the you right guys? Side is harder than the uh, How would you guys describe uh, what you, what you guys do? Art. It's um, art, right? We make uh, movies for your ears, basically. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty good, dude. Thanks. That's our pretty much thing. Yeah, we're done. Wrap the interview. Making movies for your ears, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you ever seen a movie with your ears? <laughs> it's yours. I, I, I all the time. Usually, you guys, you guys are painting, painting with colors and like creating like, like, like sound and all that stuff. And this is pretty cool. It's a pretty awesome. What, what planet are you guys from? But um, I like what Art said there. Uh, all of our music is really based off of 
we come up with these crazy ideas, like little movie skits or scenes, and then we make music to that. So that's like, it's like kind of reverse engineering. We don't make music first. Although we did make music first, but I mean, for Chola Orange, it's like a, it's a creative burst. Do you think like, like the, the type of like creatives you are, like maybe our generation, it might be our generation kind of thing, but like reverse engineering has been like the, the trending top, like thing with people around me. Cause it's like, we're fans mostly, you know, like you're fans of what, the products of the mm. inspirations you grew up with and now we're just kind of like that was smooth but like now it's just like we're this now like this is what we are from watching all the the people you used to watch and it's like again you re- reverse engineered how to pretty much play music right because it's like you didn't off the bat like learn how to play guitar you just picked it up and just started doing it and then maybe not till later you're like oh man i'm gonna actually learn this instrument and get good and like appreciate it and like yeah it's i think a lot, a lot. what is that called it's like a I guess uh, I was reading about how, like even p- people do that off of existing things. It's called like something like that, right? But it's like that's like a bad word. But there, there's a, in America it does that. Like, uh, you know, we have America is uh, famous for like Mickey Mouse hamburgers and stuff like that. And so people could do a lot of things. Or American flag, people could do American flag with like rainbow colors or like neat green and. Or making Mickey Mouse, like, you know what I mean? Their own style of Mickey Mouse. Bart Simpson, their own style. That's what we kind of do, though, too. Like, we, we're, it's like a... <laughs> we're bootleggers. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Bootlegger. Like, That's straight okay. up, you, you get some shit. Like, we even, you see everything. And then you're like, oh, man, this is, it's kind of like this. Or kind of like that, that. And all artists do that shit. Like, you know. They and, call um, it inspiration. Yeah, it's inspiration. <laughs> I, I don't really want, I, like, inspiration is a bad word. But, like, that's like. What you say? That's what, but that's what it's considered. That's no, what I- Say that was called like it's like you get something and something that's already existing and then you make it uh, you know what I mean, but uh, we do a little bit of that, but it's kind of um. I mean yeah, we're we're inspired by a lot of foreign films and yeah, that's what we've kind of implemented into our music. But yeah, like you said, it could be considered. The, even like you know like that's how we started is is uh we wanted to do like check like <laughs> Czechoslovakian just, movies. We saw a lot of Czechoslovakian movies, Italian movies. French movies, and we'd be like, damn, the, the soundtracks, the way that those people did it, that's the way, like, it's like the soundtrack of, like, like oh, man, the, the moods that they would make, and we'd be like, oh, we could do that shit, like, you know what I mean? And I feel like somebody probably said, you guys are and you got like, some hater said it, and it stuck with you, because it's not. We got, you guys create something. That's what I'm saying. You I guys took it. something and made it your own. Yeah, we found a few Even before, like, oh, I think something interesting because, about this band is that, like, even before we started Chola Orange, we all have sown a lot of musical roots. So like we played in a lot of bands and played, you know, hundreds of gigs. So Chola Orange is like the last thing where Chola Orange really isn't a, like, um, it's an extension of our creativity really. So like the music is just, it's not secondary I would say because we've already like kind of mastered that aspect, but now it's just expression. So like we're just kind of whatever we get creative on, we just figure out like the music that goes to that. Even in even, our library of yeah, tricks, even like, having the yeah, even having our name, notes. we learned a few notes over the years. Yeah, even having our name like Chola Orange, like you know, there's, two, there's no there's no females yeah. in our band. You know what I mean? Art knows like <laughs> D flat. Wait, what? No, even having the the, <laughs> the name Chola Orange is like we don't we don't have any females in our band. And I think, so then, where's, where's, you, where's this going? You know what I'm saying? Just like <laughs> people have like, well, you're using like females. Like it's like no, nah, it's like it's like the mother of. We don't mean that. Whatever. It's but like why a, would you name the band Chola Orange? Well, Chola. because I don't know. I thought that was a funny name, and my my cousin she was a Chola, and she used to tell us like tell you know stories. Story. She used to tell us crazy stories about what she used to do, like they as a, like a Chola, like robbing people and you know what I mean, bad stuff, bad little kid stuff. But and I was like, damn, Chola, and her hair was Chola Orange, and so we were like, oh, Chola Orange is kind of tight. Guys, sometimes people are going to tell you that if you work hard and you believe in yourself, the dreams will come true, but I'm here to tell you that it's not true, because you're ugly. Is that good? (laughs) (laughs) You're so ugly.
Guys, if you listen to that song, by the end of the night, she'll be calling you Willy Wonka. No? <laughs> Jesus Christ, what did that mean? What does that mean? Don't put that. Edit that. Take that out. I don't know what it's like. <laughs> Guys, why'd you, why'd you laugh when I said it? No, I'm just Lemonade juice is kind of like, it's kind of like a dream. Like when you drink it, it's gonna be very, it's very good. And it gets all kinds of stuff you could do in real life that you wouldn't do in your dreams. So you add a little uh, millihectare of rantanium, add 50, 50 millihectares of astem, this one is not good. It's not good enough. Uh. And then this one is the secret ingredients, which is real life cholo tears from Riverside. And then this is just a little bit of less green. So. It's up to you how much this green you want. I usually put like a, like a little scrubber right there. And you, damn. And then you want to just add some more. You want to add some more lemons. You got to cut them up. You know what I mean? I was using a little knife before, but this one's gonna be better. So I just get this one. You know what I mean? Check this out. It's called lemonade. Add a little bit of, a little bit of Hector, a little Hectavius. You know what I mean? Octavius makes everything like a little bit more dirtier, but it's good. <laughs> Ever heard of Arnold Schwarzenegger? Terminator? Not only this stuff makes me feel better, but it makes you think sharper. You'll start using words that you never used before. Kind of like Hectavius, Necrosol. Um, what else is another one you use all the time? Um, Hectavius. Um, it's like a ton of them, dude. It's just gonna come to you like. This is good, dude. I think it's pretty good, dude, but just to make it extra Mary Perfect, extra Mary Perfect, just a little dash of the Hector song. A little Hector, little Hector, little Hector of the Hector song. See, so look at Woo! Dude, let's get out there, Sal Lemonati, dude. It's like the blue pill, but for like the net, for natural. But don't take my word for it. What? You guys want to try some? Dudes, what's up? Try it. Let me know. Pretty good. I'm going to let you know right now. Look what's going on with this stuff? This is the next best stuff in hydration technology, bro. Pretty much. Hectavius, oh, Hectorium. What's in there? Uh, Hectavius, Hectorium, and oh, Oh, God. Whoa, dude, that was great. Can be I careful. Whoa, be careful, bro. This? Yeah, I mean. I want it in my cup. Yeah, Where's my cup? Let me get it. Take a dollar, two dollars, what's the surprise? This stuff right here is dollar twenty-five, but I'll give it to you guys for two dollars. I only got three hundred. Wait, well if you guys want the the super booster max flex. Yeah, can you add the booster can you add a booster shot in it? Yeah, dude! Okay. Voila. Dude, this is crazy, bro. Thank you guys. Really appreciate you guys. Be careful of those dolphins out there, bro. They're pretty crazy. I heard there's there's some there's some dolphins over there. It's been this it's something that's been on the news lately, bro. It's like a it's pretty aggressive, bro. It's pretty aggro. Oh. Oh.
<laughs> How long have you guys been rocking the logo, the Clockwork Orange? Like, we did that when we first came out. We we're like, dude, that's the OG yeah. logo. We're like so Clockwork yeah, Orange, yeah. Yeah. orange. Yeah. yeah, badass. I need, I need one of those. This is a one-off. It's a one-off. But yeah, but we also <laughs> thought like. Like, you know, women, it, like, that, like people have accused us or lo asked us loaded questions about women and stuff like that. And we're like, oh, man, like, what the heck? Like, it's just like regular, everybody is normal. They're people, you know what I mean? Like, everybody, you're, you, you get judged on your, uh, on the way you act or whatever. But the, um, the, the that, how we saw, like, the Chola Orange, we're like, that's, that would be cool to have, like, a, a super... A superhero, you know what I mean? Like a that's like what female superhero, like a, that's like a mother, like you know what I mean? Like oh, like, shh. like a person that is like an anti-hero that like saves people well, that, in the alleys, like in the shadows or something. Chris, like that. that brings us to the next topic. Like I mean, I'm glad you mentioned that. Is uh, that's like the centerpiece of Tokyo Sunset. That's like obviously our oh, album that which, we're working on. So yeah, oh, which I have. Oh, dude, we gave it to you. Do right now. See the golden scandals here. It's live. It's a. Uh, tell me, tell so me. Right, right, so she's so go the, ahead. She's in the first. Stay away, Chris. Um, she's in the first uh, convertible cutlass. That's like custom made, but she's the hero right there. She's the one that uh, she gets things done, and people are trying to, you know, get her the, get to her like you know what I mean it's like, behind the scene. I don't know what the, because it's like the anti-hero. Like. If now the story is unraveling because like you're you're able to piece together your your. Your tomfoolery, you're like you're, you're able to put method to that madness. You're 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 playing around with the the stories and it's developing with time the years. You know, it takes a long time to get good and it takes a long time to kind of get a narrative and put make sense of whatever comes out of yeah. your guys' brains and shit. And and it's and it shows too because it's like now it's a movie. Like you guys are painting like the whole journey. Like if you guys can talk a little bit about like the whole album in general, like. Yeah, dude, we thought of uh, making a movie about uh, something that happened, like, uh, the world, like, uh, across the world, like, a journey, and then, um, so we were, the, like, November 19th, that's when the, the, the uh, event happened, and then, you know, Los Angeles sunrise, that's, like, you wake up in the morning, and it's kind of like, oh, like, now it's time to get ready, like, to do what you have to do. The chasing is, like, you're getting chased by, I don't know, if you listen to the record, it's kind of like, I'm just doing, it's, like, kind of vague. But the chasing is we getting the chased whole, by the whole record was we just kind of came up with like exactly what Chris said is like um the idea of like Tokyo Sunset is the end like where that's the final thing so we the destination we, we built all these tracks to like tell this almost like a a fill in the blank story where it's vague enough to um to let your imagination fill in a lot of it but then a lot of it is is um is in the record like he said you have to listen to the record but each song tells a little story on like these heroes adventures going across the world first they're flying here they're delivering briefcases you gotta watch your back you're going over here ninjas pop out there's the trolls there's nowadays they've been raised on harry potter there's you gotta be careful that happened then there's cheetos there's all kinds of stuff happening in this is Bar this is like this is your your world you're you guys are world builders this is yeah, exactly. but this is actual like in the world like people like the gangsters like they used to watch Marnie and and, uh, and uh, Harry Potter and stuff and they, like they started killing people and stuff. Well, that's cool. Like you, you guys are like taking like the, the negativity <laughs> like you know like the shit that people would be like make negative and you guys are like talking shit your own way with like low key like in like cryptic like you know talking like you like you know like yeah it's a it's a it's a it's a, it's a joke a little bit like life. But people, you know, like, it's crazy, like, the, like, exactly, like, those fools could take life so seriously, and, uh... I think that's a good point, though. You know, like, there's just, a lot of people that are just like, oh, what? <gasps> it seems like you guys have fun, and you don't take it Well, we just serious, make fun you know? of ourselves, first and foremost, yeah. so that's, like, the first thing. So we don't give a damn at, and there, nothing else matters at that point, once you're at your rock bottom, what's a little kick when you're down, like... We're just, there's there's only going up, so we're always, always going, 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 going up. up. So hey guys, we should go like this. Hey, start streaming like this right here. Look at you. One, up. two, three. Oh! Oh! <laughs> That'd be good, like. You know, or what? Okay. He said like Chris, like <laughs> he said start streaming like Chris. <laughs> Dude, no, one no, more time. No, what? One, two, three. Oh!
Okay. This is Chola Orange, and we're playing Mas Fun TV. Ooflandia and Dumpster Boys. Bro Family Omelets. Set your ass on fire. stuff it's called pizza skate and surf it's a compilation of uh, songs that we recorded at the uh, volcom studios as well we're gonna do uh, this thing it's a uh, it's like another as well you know as tokyo sunset it's, it's another a, it's, it's conceptual actually, album it's actually a children's book yeah it's writing. a children's book oh, that we're writing. i love that dude. yeah so it's about it's it's called chalokyo and you know it's about you know how to become a man and how to you know just it's try to you, you gotta get a <laughs> It's like you gotta just put that oh, stuff no. down, hold it deep inside, and you just you become you just you get become tough. It's and about that's it's about pain, hard heartbreak, times, yeah. yeah, heartbreak, sadness, hard times, hard times. You better put that on a shirt. It's yeah, Chorokio, like, like what? The yeah, that's so that? weird. It's There's like, a couple content drawings out yeah, there. Yeah, and the guy, oh, his his name, it's the busy. guy, his name, uh, his name is Juan Pedro, Chorokio, and then they have you know what's the other guy's name? It's like they have a. Oh, that was Jeff. 
Juan Pedro, Juan Pedro it's Chilo- 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 yeah. Chilo- 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 and then the Chilo- cricket Chilo- is a. Uh, um, oh, oh, remember? But we have a guy. We have the. We have the guys. <laughs> it's real. This is real, dude. This is real. It's gonna happen. It's gonna come out next year. It's pretty much in pre-production. The whales tales. That's why we we wrote all those demos yeah. on the Zoom. Like we were still whale, writing demos. They, 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 he kicks in the whale. They're looking for him. You know, the what whale mean? jail. You have to find it's all whale jail. There's little crystals dropping around. Yeah, it sounds crazy. This fools go through, man. And you guys all record like. At, like together all the time like, we have rock dog studios that's a studio that started and it's rock dogs it's just cool there's like dogs that wear glasses and they just like you go like and they just look at you all cool that's, that's right. like what our studio is all about so then the music comes after that but we have stuff we do we just we do it rock dogs it's free it's the like invitational style it's, i mean it's great we we love it well oh, man that yeah you guys are like Super mass fun, like you guys. For perf- the performance was mass fun. You guys are mass fun. You guys are awesome people. Um, where can we find your music and where can people look you guys up? Dude, we just got we uh we repress we just replaced uh repressed this album. It's gonna be in a local uh record store in Long Beach, Los Angeles, and um, Tokyo, Japan. No way. Yeah, we have that. We're gonna get. Yeah. We have it in Japan too. Japan's Cholokio, man. Yeah, the Cholokios will be tight though. We're uh, that's gonna be you know. Oh, do you guys have made Choloks? Like Cholokos? Oh, we're gonna do yeah. Uh, thanks, man. Cholokos. <laughs> Cholokos. Now we are. Now we are. Just Cholokos. Yeah. Just no, we already were making them. What are you talking? About? No, but but that's like Tokyo it's thing, you know, we, it's it's like when you get when you grow up and people tell you how to act and how to be a man and not to be like a little or like to be like whatever you know what I mean like it's like that is like some weird. That is like a we're gonna be t- uh, it's 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 a joke like it's a real life that's yeah, kind of like you know what I mean don't and it work do do it do it, do it. Uh, uh. grow up but don't grow yeah, up you know yeah but so don't kill your baby <laughs> when Tokyo Sunset's coming out oh uh, on our band camp you're gonna be able to pre order there's gonna be limited pre orders because it's gonna be placed out everywhere yeah. so bro fam that this and then you should be like uh today's been brought to you by Bro Family. Dude, you should have a Bro Family omelet, dude. Let's make it. I yeah. think we should have a cooking show with like little segments. Oh, we have guys. that, dude. We have the, a cooking show. The, you <laughs> show it all. You guys show them this clip of the cooking show. Oh, oh yeah, we do cook show. It's what is it? gonna play right here? I just kidding. <laughs> what are we making? Bro Family omelet. Bro Family. Bro Family. <laughs> How do we make a Bro Family? First. You gotta add the S oil. Right there, dude, check it out. I'm like your sous chef. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, whatever you need, I'll, I'll, I'll grab you this stuff, man. Alright, so we gotta get this stuff to get, uh, you know, a little bit up to tempo. Got it high. Oh yeah. So it's ready. Be careful. It's super hot. All right, dude. So next, first of all, what I like to add first is the you know I put cilantro, onions, and a little bit of jalapenos in here. It's all mixed. I have a little pre mixture. If you know, it takes a lot of time. So pretty good. Here you go, chef. Dude, thank you, man. By the way. Good. Yeah. So you know what I mean? You add this first. I would like you to put it for like about a minute, minute and a half. How do you know it's ready? Well just you know, it smells good. By the by the time it smells good. It'll smell good. So it already smells good though. <laughs> smell gooder? Oh yeah. Scallion good. It's rat scallion. Jalapenos. And cilantro, and they call it in America. They call cilantro coriander, I believe. Good to know. Yeah, pretty rich. Pretty great. All right. So now I'll add the eggs. While this goes on, while well, it's just boiling like a little hector, we'll just be like. Webbles. How many webbles do you usually use? Some, oh, I'm just gonna use about uh, probably like six of them. I'll probably use all of them. All of them. Yeah. Ooh. 
And then you could do like, you could just bust it like this too, like it. Yeah. Can I try one? Yeah, bust it, dude. Right, bust it, there you go. Bust that. Oh, I didn't break the bolita. Oh. Last one, ready? Do you, do you need me to, to whisk this? Yeah, dude, if you can. I'll just bust, you know. This is what makes the bro family special. This you, is gonna be like. How do you whip? What do you usually just kind of like? You just whip it up, like. Just whip it up. Like you have to. Yeah. Doing pretty good. All right, and then you can just uh now. Now while you're doing that, I'm gonna add some of this stuff. It's called. It's called pastrami. I'm gonna have this cook for like a little bit. Before you put in the eggs, you gotta add a little bit of pastrami. Oh, it's starting to smell really good. Yeah, dude. This is gonna be crazy. Profamble. This is what makes the profamble lit, bro. That's the lit part? Yeah, this is the lit part, I think. Super lit. Fresh lit? Yeah, it's pretty good. Is it fresh? Yeah. Get this from your, your, your local deli? Yeah, dude. Pretty good. Local deli. This is the real pastrami. Because they have other pastrami that it's like they put like uh, uh, asbestos in it or something like that. But this is the real. I think we're about good to put the, you can just bust the egg. You ready for yeah. the egg? A lot of people like to put like this little special, you know, like, uh, like a wave, like the ocean. But I just throw it in there and just mix it up. That's like the real. Oh, there you go. Just let it kick it for a little bit. Do all kinds of stuff. All sorts of kinds of. And you can bust the little bit of tomatoes. I mean, I'll do it right there at any point. It don't matter. Right before the stuff, right before this, we, yeah. Bro, So yeah, dude, so this is gonna cage. Any second now, and it's gonna look. It's kinda crazy, cause like in TV shows, it's usually like, bring and it's done. Yeah, but this is real life. This is so real we're gonna, life. This is, you know what I mean? Unedited and. Unedited. Got busted right here. It's almost done though. Is this like your go-to recipe? Sometimes. Sometimes. That's going good. And then there's like one more little ingredient like towards the very, very end though. It's not cheese, is it? You guessed it. Good, the answer is cheese, dude. Did I just spoil? Surprise? No, man. It's a, that's what it. That's what you gotta do. I got a surprise for you. Cool, man. This is what you usually feed the whole chola crew. Yeah. That's cool. We've been getting. We're on like a really high diet right now. Healthy. Me too. Little healthy boys, we've been healthy boys. We we're snacking for a little while, but now you gotta just can't be as more snacked out. And this is mozzarella. Check it out. So we just added the cheese to the profond. That's right. Are we ready? Hell yeah. Here's a surprise for you. I got something for you. Oh, dude. oh dude. This is crazy. Can't believe it. We got some Bambi eyes. Bambi eyes, dude. Because it's kind of like. Bambi 
heavy eyes was the surprise. Because it's like a surprise. When you're in those thighs, it gives you bambi eyes. So yeah, dude. Do you want this? You want to serve it in this place? But it's a little scrambly. Oh, man. Let me try a little scrambly too. Let me get a fork. There's a fork right here. Suspicious activity. Uh, some guys are making lemonade or something. Cholo's making lemonade <laughs> with oranges. 